designing websites using Squarespace for the past three years and have tested tons of different plugins. And in this video, I'm sharing the ones I used all the time to make my site look better and more professional. Whether you need more design flexibility, better functionality, or just a few shortcuts to save time. So let's get started. And the number one plugin on my list is from Square Website Plugins, and it's a Squarespace Chrome Extension Pro. In Squarespace, you cannot copy paste different pages between websites. You cannot install templates. So when I'm working with clients or even uh, when I'm designing my templates, this extension is so helpful because I don't have to manually copy any content or styles. It, it does it all for me. You can import and export move pages, blogs, product, and collections between Squarespace website without manually recreating them. It's a huge time saver. If you design a lot of website, I swear this is the must have plugin. They have two different versions. One is a light and one is the pro. And so on a light one, you only get to import and export different uh, pages from one side to the other, um, which you can also do that with 7.0 and 7.1. But on a pro one, you have more plugins that you can utilize. And it's by creating custom tables, advanced maps, lazy summaries, content presets, and uh, UI tweaks very useful and if you haven't tried it before i also have a video on how to use this plugin i'm gonna link it below but this is my one of the must-have plugins for squarespace website designers besides their extension that lets you copy different pages to from between the websites they also have other squarespace plugins such as this universal filter plugin if you have an e-commerce shop or maybe you have a very layered structure of your services, it allows you to sort your products uh, in a very elaborate way that at this moment we cannot do with just Squarespace native features. Another useful tool, which is the shopping cart. If you add it, the cart, the shopping cart is gonna slide out like that. And based on data that when the shopping cart slide out like that, there is a potential to increase the conversion. The customers who are browsing your website can forget and leave the website. Another great tool for Squarespace website is the Squarespace ID Finder. It's a free Chrome extension that you can um, install in your Chrome browser. And what it helps you is, let me demonstrate, once you install it to your Chrome browser, it's gonna look like a bunch of different squares together. Once you click on that, it's gonna show you all of these numbers that are generated based on the IDs. So each section on your Squarespace website has um, a unique ID that is not replicated anywhere else, but just on this website. And if you, if you do some coding or you use some CSS, it's actually very useful. For example, if I select this section and navigate to custom CSS, I can adjust the color of this font just in this particular section. So this is H2 and I want the color to be red. And now only this section in this particular H2 will have the red color and the rest of the website just gonna, gonna have its usual colors that I'm using for the color palette. Again, if you design custom websites, this is a must have tool to ease of use and coding. L-Site is a no-code widget platform that lets you add engaging, high-converting features in just a few clicks. And you don't need any code. It's a pretty easy uh, copy-paste setup. They have a bunch of different widgets that you can explore, and all of them could be added to Squarespace. One of the features, this one is a new one, I think it's a very promising one, is an AI chat box, chatbot, and you can create a widget. You can start it for free, look at the pricing. There is different breakdown on how many views, etc. So you can, if you're working with clients or if you're considering this widget for yourself, you can see which option suits you best. But you can train this chatbot to answer to visitors on your website. And I have added just recently a chatbot to my website 
and I have seen an increase in conversions and just overall when people ask you questions about your products, it gives you an insight of what is your website missing because there is always something that people might not understand about your product or something like that that could stop them from buying from you or from booking with you. And they usually ask those questions in a chatbot. If you get all the same questions all the time, you can adjust copy on website. Oh, it's just a very good tool to communicate with people who come to your website. They also have really good widgets for for the number counter. I really like this one, it's like increasing number counters. The restaurant menu is also a very useful widget if you work with restaurants or if you have a restaurant website. They have Google reviews, different Facebook chat, Instagram chat. It's just very many widgets that you can explore and add to your website. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm just a tip that this is a very good website if you're looking for some functionality that are not available on the Squarespace to add to your website. Next platform is also a platform with a lot of different widgets that you can add to your website. It's called Common Ninja. And similarly to Outside is a no-code widget platform that helps you add different engaging features such as pricing tablets, comparison charts, social media feeds, testimonials, countdown timers, etc. Uh, they have a lot of different widgets for service-based businesses, e-commerce store, personal blog, and very easy to install and add to your website. One of the most common ones is obviously the chat, uh, chat different um, views from different platforms such as Etsy, Google, Airbnb, pricing tables, different polls. They even have a PDF flipbook, which could add some more interactive element to your website. Google map, it's a really cool one. There is a lot of different digits to explore here. I just wanna show you one that I really liked. One is a spinning wheel. It's like a gamification of your website and you can include a different stuff that people can win when they spin it on your website. A lot of like big name marketers are using this spin wheel. You can utilize it for your website by using the common ninja. And the other one that I found more unique than the rest of the widgets I saw out there is a scratch card. Let me show you an example. So you can scratch it and discover a discount code there, which is also pretty cool. I haven't seen it before. This is one of their fewest digits that I find very unique. There's also this website from Will. He offers different plugins specifically for Squarespace. I have purchased numerous plugins from this store and they're pretty good. Some of my favorites are probably the pricing table when you can switch between different tabs from monthly and annually. If you've been using Squarespace, you know that we don't have a feature like that native to Squarespace. So we have to be creative and use some plugins for that. The other one that I like is a count up animation, which basically once while you scroll the website, the numbers do count up. All of the plugin here are pretty affordable. So I have probably all of them. <laughs> I do recommend this website. Another great widget is a mega menu to your website to just basically make your make your site more organized if there is anything that you want to to showcase differently or showcase more categories. Mega menu is a great way to do um, so all of these websites have similar plugins. You just want to decide whichever ones you think serves you better. Here's the vertical accordion which I also have used in the past. It's also another just very cool layout that you can use to make your website just visually more appealing and interesting. Next on my list is the platform called Peaches which offers you a way to add a referral or an affiliate program to your Squarespace website. I do utilize an affiliate program for my own products and I do find it's pretty beneficial. It does help you drive more sales. It's like a word of mouth. If somebody uses a product from your shop and then recommend to someone else, there is a high chance that person would listen to their friend and use your product, wherever those products might be. If you thinking of adding another way of generating client to your business, this is a great that it can help you achieve that. And 
Besides this referral and affiliate program, they also have another tool which you call Square Certify and that helps you generate this like badges that show you that somebody uh, purchased something uh, from your website or somebody download a program or whatever. You can uh, set it up all of this inside um, this tool, right? But um, it's just another way to show a social proof that your website is actually being active. People are actively purchasing, booking, or whatever they're, they're meant to do on your particular website, that they're taking those actions. So when a person lands on your website, they don't think that they're with oh, some random abandoned website. So this is also a very powerful marketing tool that I suggest you consider because it does uh, truly help increase conversions and build trust with the potential clients. Another great tool that it's not unique to Squarespace, but uh, if you work with websites and you not only design them, but also market them and do market research, it's a SEMrush. It's a paid tool, but this is one of my favorite like marketing assets that I have. Every time I do SEO research, keyword research, or any of that sort, it's all backed by data. If you insert your URL, it will give you an analysis of your organic traffic, of your backlinks, what is the top performing post. You can also do a keyword research, a side audit. We can analyze different keywords. For example, Miami Photographer is going to give you the volume, the keyword, keyword difficulties, what are the other websites or competitors are ranking for this keyword. It's a lot of great data and analytics that you can utilize to make use of your website to actually bring you traffic and clients. I definitely would recommend checking out this website. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I will see you in the next video.